And now, Storm Tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. Yeah, here we go. As we go to the weekend, the National Weather Service has issued a winter weather advisory, not necessarily for East Idaho, but our neighbors to the to the east over in western Wyoming. Snowfall will range anywhere from 2 to 10 inches. That also includes uh, points just north of Manita Pass. So if you're going up to around Dillon or even farther north, north up into Butte, it will definitely be a winter wonderland. It starts up this advisory 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. It will run until about noon on Sunday. Not only 2 to 10 inches, but we're looking at some substantial wind, especially over the highest elevations. Wind gusts ranging from 35 to 45 miles per hour. So here we go. Yeah, definitely a storm moving in. Already seeing those clouds spreading over a good portion of East Idaho and some rain up around Lewiston. That will spread in late tonight and start crossing the central mountains, at least the southern tier of the central mountains late tonight, early morning. And eventually we'll get some of this precipitation in the Snake River Plain in the form of rain for Pocatello. Blackfoot, probably a rain snow mix around Idle Falls into Rexburg, and then that rain and snow mix for the upper plain into tomorrow night, and then all rain for the lower plain tomorrow night. So a wet weekend. It will start off okay tomorrow. You may be wondering, well, it's not raining right now or snowing. It's probably going to stay that way. No, no, no. Later in the day, you just wait. Get your umbrella ready. 25 right now in Idle Falls, 45 in Pocatello, 47 way down the road in Salt Lake City. Almost 50 right now over in Boise. Definitely the warm before the storm there. Uh, forecast tonight, clouds are on the increase. We're looking at low temperatures, not quite as cold as they've been lately. In fact, most of us will see lows in the 20s. Idle Falls, you're still struggling. At least you'll stay out of the single digits. You'll have a low tonight in the upper teens. Mostly cloudy for the Central Mountains, so a little bit of a blanket for us. Most of us will see lows in the 20s as well. And for the upper highlands in western Wyoming, still a few spots down in the teens. Jackson, your low at 15. Partly cloudy for the southeast corner of the state. Look at a low of 20 in Downey, 23 at Preston. Montpelier, still pretty cold. May see some fog late tonight, early tomorrow morning. You've had a foggy one all day long. I think that won't necessarily be the problem tomorrow. We may see some freezing rain if the precipitation starts up in the morning. Uh, definitely a rain-snow mix later in the day. And for Montpelier, it'll be all snow later in the day and maybe some freezing rain. Let's hope not. That's instant ice, basically. As you're driving along, you'll just hit it and not even realize it's there. Uh, we got snow for the upper highlands in western Wyoming in the afternoon. A mix for some. High temperatures do get above freezing for most places for the central mountains. Rain and snow possible later in the day. I think pretty good bet of seeing some snow over in Stanley. And then rain likely later in the day for the Snake River Plain. High temperatures mid 30s to the mid 40s. Your southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. More wet weather for Pocatello on Sunday and quite a bit of wind. Look at that high of 48. No wonder it's rain. And then Monday, it'll start off as rain and then turn to snow later in the day, and we get some snow on Tuesday. Idaho Falls seven-day forecast. We have rain and snow all weekend. Windy. We do get warmer than we've been lately. Finally getting above freezing. That'll feel good, but it'll be a, it will be wet. <laughs> so I don't know if that's going to feel good at all. Teton area seven-day forecast. Snowy. Look at all that snow for the next six days. Uh, so again, we'll see anywhere from 2 to 10 inches here in the next day and a half for the Teton area, and certainly more after that. For the Central Mountains, rain, snow all weekend, rain, snow to start off the work week, and then sunshine and colder.